Boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry Smooth. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucker responsibilities. And the only reason I'm doing this video right here is because uh, these people tried to have me join the hangout. Then when I tried to join, they're going to actually block me. So I don't even know what kind of internet games or what kind of scary spiritual people these are. But for the most part, this video goes out to the Bible thumping wing nut and uh, the preacher dude, Matt Slick. Now, I'm going to destroy the whole tag argument in like a few seconds, a few minutes. Now check this out, right? Now this dude Matt Slick that made a uh, argument called tag. Now it's based on the um, it's based on the logical absolutes, and he's trying to call these uh, transcendent, which which means they they don't depend on men and women for their validity, right? So look up logical absolutes, right? And he's trying to say that they are extractions because if they are if they're not depending on men and women, then that makes them transcendent, right? That they tra they transcends this reality, but He's trying to say they are extractions. Now, here's his argument, right? And he's, he's trying to say an extraction, you go only perceive an extraction from a mind, right? So he's going to force you to say, yeah. But then here's where he messed up at, right? He said, okay, since, uh, since abstractions are based on the mind, then it must take a transcendent mind to, in order to create the logical absolutes. That's, that's basically his argument in a nutshell. It must, and he's gonna he's gonna say it's the Christian God. Now here's where he messed here's where he messed up at, right? Because I don't know not one goddamn mind in any realm of reality that's not receiving first, that's not perceiving first. You're gonna have to prove some scientific fact somewhere that the mind actually pushes out first instead of receiving. When you are born from your mother, you breathe in first. When you go through an experience. You're perceiving first. So, in some way, shape, or form, you are receiving information before you are calculating the idea to push out. You are receiving first. So, if your argument is based on the logical absolutes or abstractions, and to understand abstractions, it takes a universal mind or a transcendent mind, right? Then, if you're going to correlate the way humanity worked with any type of God nature and conflate it by saying it takes a mind to understand abstractions, then you need to know that minds receive first so whatever transcendent mind you're trying to give props to creating the logical absolutes you need to know that they received that information from somewhere they received that abstraction from somewhere maybe in a higher realm that you can't perceive yet because you're lost in your religion but for the most part that being that you following has a mind and a mind receives a mind experience a mind perceives so if that's going to be the case and if that's going to be your argument then this actually means that your transcendent argument and the logical absolutes are not back to support it by your God because your God is getting it some from getting it from somewhere because it's your argument you said it takes a you said it takes a, a transcendent mind right so a, we know all minds receive since we're going to conflate it with humanity I haven't seen a mind yet that pushes out and creates shit from the mind all I seen was the mind receive experiences and do what it could do with that and utilize whatever it utilized from what it received through the body to push it out that way other than that, you won't have no form of knowledge. So, I repeat, this transcendent mind must be a demon, must be a demonic spirit, because for the most part, it don't know anything, and it's receiving, because we know all minds are receiving and perceiving. So, these abstractions, your spirit ain't the intellectual owner of that, because you said it yourself. It takes a transcendent mind. Now, if you want to get into more arguments of that, you're going to have to prove that it's only one transcendent mind. <laughs> and then now you're just going to get into a whole demonic logical rationality of trying to justify uh, your lostness of the light in some way, shape, or form. And there's no way around it. No way around it. So you can go ahead and look at my video and want to be lost in a man's philosophical point of view about something and say I'm demonic because you hear me cussing and you hear me smoking. But when we look at your state of being and we look at minds, uh, I think real spirits in this world going to be able to decipher who's demonic and who's ain't and who got spiritual warfare and who ain't. Flight boss.